Hi everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I have a 4x8 picture of my kids that I really want to use and I'm going through my Gossamer Blue, um, what is this, the traveler's notebook kit paper. I decide to use this subtle polka dotted one that has a lot of greens and blues, some yellow in there and it worked really well with my picture. So all I'm going to do is be all fancy and kind of figure out where I want it trim with my fingernail and then I will stick down that paper on the other side of my page. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to grab some of my Feed Your Craft flat packs. I decide to use this one because that blue in those cards work really well with the polka dots. So I'm just going to start going through it and figuring out which card I want to use. I do end up using the blue one. And then I will also be using one of those little circle um, phrases. I forgot what that one says. but. I do use one of those, so I'm going to leave that aside until I figure out where I want to add it. But this card is mm, kind of too big for me, so I will trim it down. So as always, I like to use my scraps for my layers, and I really like this um, kind of navy blue paper with the chevron pattern. I'm going to cut it down into strips and try to add it to my layers. I will also go and grab myself a doily just to kind of soften that like navy blue paper. So I'm going to set my layout aside because I want to stamp on this card. I decide I will stamp out this is what matters. So I had to go through my stamps and choose the smallest set I have so it can fit in the card. So I grab these Kelly Perky stamps. I usually use these in my Hobonichi because they're the perfect size. And obviously they're the perfect size to stamp in small spaces. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp out this is what matters on that little card. So I guess I decide against the doily. I will start embellishing or start looking through my embellishments because I felt like I don't want to layer too much. So I'm going to grab some of my little drawers of embellishments and go through them and just add little things here and there. So while I was going through my Gossamer Blue kit, I found this pack of die cuts that I really, really like, and they obviously worked really well with my colors. But I like this little tag and thought I'm gonna stick it on that on the picture itself. And I found this really pretty blue flower. Of course, I love adding flowers, so I go for it. And right now, I'm just trying to see how I want to lay everything. And once I like it, I'm going to start sticking things down.
So at this moment, I'm trying to convince myself that everything looks good and I should start sticking things down. I do that a lot. I always question where I have certain embellishments or that my layering isn't good enough. Um, I'm just trying really hard to kind of get out of my comfort zone lately. I usually have a lot of white space when I'm working in my traveler's notebook and I usually stick to a certain way. But this layout, I thought I'm trying something new. So I went ahead and stuck everything down. But when I was going through my embellishments again, I found this really pretty chipboard. I believe I got this in one of my Studio Calico kits and it's so cute. I love the color, but it's just not working. I move it around on my page a few times. I end up not using it, but I do find one that says shine on which uh, I thought worked really well with my layout, so I decided to use that instead. So because I want to use this chipboard, I decide to remove some of the layers because it is pretty thick. Now thickness doesn't bother me in my traveler's notebook. You guys know I use flares and all kinds of stuff, but chipboard does for some reason. Um, I don't make it extremely thin, you still can tell it's chipboard, but I do remove some of the layers just to kind of flatten it out a little bit. Now because I won't be using any crystal drops on this layout, obviously because there's polka dots in the background, so I won't be using my crystal drops, I thought I could use the stars and that way I can add more yellow to my page. So I'm going to grab a few of them and add them here and there. And I also want to switch out that little embellishment, that Feed Your Craft embellishment. I don't know, I just felt like it was not, like it was just not working really well. So I grab another one that has more black in it. And I thought that looked much better, so I go for it. Okay, you guys, I believe I am done with my layout. I will be adding a date stamp and then I call it done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye. Click on the screen if you want to see some more of my Traveler's Notebook videos.